Bienvenido, Nueva Zelanda. Muchas gracias. It's awesome to see you here, mate. It's Culture Week. So I've enlisted Michael. He's going to bring out some excellent New Zealand dishes and perhaps a few of your own as well. Yeah, okay, looking forward to it. Thank you very much for having me. Are you hungry? Always hungry. This one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, chori pan, grilled chorizo and chimichurri. And then New Zealand's favourite sausage sizzle. What is Mato sauce, sausage, caramelised onions on a piece of white bread? Cannot beat this here. Classic sausage and white bread, white dip. Chimichurri in New Zealand, like, wow. Well done. So you're a bit of a nomadic rugby player. What draws you to that lifestyle? Yeah, I'm always very like uh, intrigued. I want to know what's out there yeah. and want to experience it. And that's one thing that rugby gives us the opportunity to do, see different cultures, meet a lot of new people, connect with different places. Oh, empanadas. Ready on the next one. Classic mince and cheese pie, tomato sauce, mm. empanadas, and salsa. Criosha? Criosha, yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. tell. Yeah. yeah. How do you eat it? You just, you just pick it up and eat it. If you want sauce, you can dip it in and just take, mm. a, take a big bite. This is a tradie lunch. Really good, eh? It's like a huge empanada. <laughs> <laughs> it is, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's good, eh? So you've travelled a lot around the world. What's the biggest difference you've found playing in France or England compared to being here in, in New Zealand? I think that every country has like their, their own culture. What I found here in New Zealand is how strong the culture is. You can see it everywhere. Like once you arrive to the airport, you already say like welcome to Acharoa and you already start seeing like the Maori language everywhere and the Maori symbols. And that's what I feel also on my first day in Crusader. You can feel that culture is a big thing and you live it every day. You happy with the Cincinnati? You got the, the olive inside as well. Yeah, I can a little taste bit, it. a little of mm. egg. It's really good, eh? Mm. It looks re really Argentinian. You're gonna have to pronounce this one for me. Matame Rosado. Arrochado. Yeah. Okay. That's the problem. And one, yeah. fish and chips. This is one of the things that I love the most yeah. about New Zealand. Eh? It's not something that you can find easy in Argentina. To be honest, I've been eating a lot here in New Zealand. Ah. I love it. I was once here before when we lost yeah. Yeah, you yeah. guys in the 2019 final. We were staying in a hotel in the city center. So for me, my perspective of Chrysler was like a very little town, uh, only like yeah. the center. And yep. when I arrived here, I like realized it was so much more going on. Like around, you got the mountains, really good to go for a bike ride. And you got the sea and you got everything you want here. Eh? It's just an unbelievable place. Right. It really touching my heart, Pablo, you know? Ready for the secret weapon? Wow. So Argentinian barbecue, ribeye steak on the bone with chimichurri, and then New Zealand favourites, bluff oysters, mm. and then white bait fritter as well. Pick it up, put it in a sandwich, bit of lemon juice. Thank Get that much. in your guts and it's gonna be beautiful, mate. What do you reckon? It's an acquired taste for some. I love it, Dan. Yeah? That's amazing, yeah? yeah. Really good, I never tried that one. In Argentina, it's very common after a feed like this, and especially when you do meat, you bring the, the chef, the barbecue man. We yeah. call it the asador. And we just clap. Yes. Michael, come on, through, mate. Come on. You want right. to have it? Yeah. yeah. Barbecue. Was amazing, yeah. Good. Good. Glad you enjoyed it. Was it was really good. Yeah. Thank I did a lot much. of research. No, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell you've done amazing. Great one, mate. Yeah, Here we are. Cheers. Boys. Here we go. Sit down. <laughs>